on the 4th of July, 1806, we set sail from the sweet cove of Cork. We were sailing away with a cargo of clay for the grand city hall in New York. Twas a wonderful craft, she was rigged, bought and apt. I know how the wild winds drove her. She stood several blasts, she had 27 masts, and they called her the Irish Rover. We had one million bags of the best Swigo rags. We had two million barrels of stone. We had three million sides of old blind horses' hides. We had four million barrels of bone. We had five million hogs. We had six million dogs. We had seven million barrels of porter. We had nine million bales of old nanny goat's tails. All on board of the Irish Rover. There was old Mickey Coot, who played hand on his flute when the ladies lined up for the set. He was tootin' with skill for each swaggling quadrille till the dancers were flutered and bet. With his smart, witty talk, he was cock of the walk as he rode the dames under and over. When he took up his stance, they all knew at a glance that he sailed in the Irish Rover. There was Barney McGee from the banks of the Lee. There was Hogan from County Tyrone. And McGee McGurk, who was scared stiff of work, and a chap from a smith named Malone. There was Slugger O'Toole, who was drunk as a rule, and fighting Bill Tracy from Dover. There was Dolan from Clare, just as strong as the bear, all on board of the Irish Rover. We had sailed seven years when the measles broke out, and the ship lost its way in the fog. Then a whale of a crew was reduced down to two, just myself and the captain's old dog. And the ship struck a rock. Oh, Lord, what a shock. The boat, it was tightened right over. Tightened right times around, then the old dog was drowned. I'm the last of the Irish Rover.